Well, hello everybody. I'm going to give you a real quick video where we're going to look at uh, using the virtual classroom, the virtual meeting rooms that we're going to be using this week in order for to, or well, for the next several weeks in order to hold classes. The classes will be held at your normal hours. Uh, so it's, you know, just stay in the same routine. Instead of driving to campus, you'll walk over to your computer. Uh, keeping in mind you are going to be on video, so uh, rest for school, and, um, and then log in. There are two methods to log in. The, the first method, the uh, probably the easiest one, is going to be going to the virtual meeting room. Log into your course. Uh, let me get into the student mode in here. And then click on virtual meeting room. When you do that, it's going to take a minute for Blackboard Collaborative Ultra to come up. You will have a list of the classrooms um, available. It should probably only be one for that particular date. It will have uh, Monday, um, you know, March 24th, I think, is the first one. Simply click on that session, and it will have some information over here with a dial up and all. You don't need that. I don't know why that's in the way. It X that out. Get to the section that says Join Course Room. Click on that. You're going to have a couple things come up for you. Um, particularly the first time you do this, uh, you're going to have a little icon coming up asking you to allow or block the use of the microphone. Make sure you click Allow. Um, then it's going to test your microphone. If the microphone you're using is not working, and the way it tests, it just simply gives you a let's, magenta colored bar that goes across. You may have to select a different microphone. There's a little pull down here. Select the particular microphone you want to do. When it's working, click yes, it's working. Uh, if it's not, you can hit I need help. I, I think most of them have worked. I've tried this on about five computers and, and a phone and it's worked all right on every one of them so far. So uh, hopefully it'll work and you don't have to click no, I need help. So we click on that. Next thing, it's going to be your camera. You're going to, again, allow the use of the camera. It's going to bring up the camera. There you can see my smiling face. Uh, when it's working, again, you may have to change cameras. If, uh, particularly if you're using your phone, you may have to pick a different camera if it's um, you know, shooting the people behind you and, not, and yet, uh, not you. So just select which camera. When it's working, click quickly. Yes, it's working. It takes a second to get up into the system. Uh, there's a tutorial that shows up. If you click on later, it um, brings the tutorial up anyway. I don't know why. Just click the X to get out of it, and you are now in the classroom. Come down here to the bottom. Let me kind of scroll this down a little bit. Well, let me see if it'll move a little. There we go. Right down here at the bottom, you've got several icons. One is uh, your your status, where you can click on it tells you whether you're, you know, how fast your system is going and uh, so forth. Uh, I, I guess they're they're trying to have a survey or something there. So just kind of leave that alone. That's just uh, should be you. Uh, you have a microphone. Leave it muted. If you're going to ask a question in class, you will click on the microphone to activate it. Ask your question when you're completed muted again. If we had everybody in the classroom with their mics open, there'd be too much background noise, so keep that muted. The next one is the share the video. Please click this on, share your video. It's going to again bring it up, and make sure that you're in the picture, and click share video. Now I will be able to see your smiling faces. And the third item that you're going to see is to raise your hand. Click on this. It will put an indication on my screen that you have a question. I will acknowledge you. When I acknowledge you, click over here to turn your microphone on. Speak to me. And um, when you're done, turn it off. I will answer your question and I will, um, you know, I will lower your hand for you. Or you can click on it to lower your hand. The lecture will be up on the screen. Um, if you want, you can change out the lecture to have my picture. I have no idea why you'd want to do that. But the PowerPoint or any other items I'm sharing with you will show up on the screen. Uh, if you can't hear me and I, I'm, my slides are changing, that means I'm talking. Um, 
check your volume, make sure it's on, like my volume is turned off on this computer right now because I've got two of these sessions open and it feeds back on itself, so um, I, I wouldn't be able to hear it. But at any rate, that is it. When the course is over, the qu quickest way to leave it is to come up here and, oh, uh, let me move this up a little bit so you can see it, to just X out of it, and th then you'll be out. An alternative way to leave is clicking on this, this nice little thing right here, and down at the bottom it says leave session. Either one of those and it will log out. If you hit the one here at the bottom, when you log out it's going to want to get a survey from you. You can answer it and exit or simply skip it. Again, if you just hit the X and close it out up at the top, that works also. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Um, we Hopefully everybody will get in here and we'll, we'll have a successful class. I am planning a practice session. Um, for everybody to log into, I'll have a 30-minute session for each one of my classes where you can simply log in for five or ten minutes, log into one class. If you're in multiple classes, you don't have to log into all of them. So everybody gets an opportunity to give this a try. Um, I, I'll see you. We will make it through this, um, and everything will work out just fine. Oop, if I can get down so I can clear this out. i got to raise this back up so I can exit out of the program.